day 239. In this video I will focus on the Kherson region, and in particular on the northern part of the region. Here the Russians have launched mass evacuation from the Dnipro River's western bank. Geolocated footage confirms that the Russians are evacuating their machinery as well. On top of that, the commander of the Russian armed forces in Ukraine appeared on national television and started preparing the general public for quote, difficult decisions, unquote, that they will soon have to face. What exactly these decisions are is pretty apparent. Complete abandonment of Kherson. And here is why. First of all, the Russians are facing continuous attacks along the northern front. Today the Ukrainians once again assaulted Russian positions in the area of Sukhanove and Milove. Russian sources also reported that the Ukrainians are using a lot of drones in this region, and they are doing it to achieve several objectives at once. Firstly, they are testing how well Russian air defense responds to the threat from the air in this region, and where they have blind spots. Secondly, they are enhancing their intelligence gathering substantially, because while ground troops are testing the enemy's defense, the drones allow seeing how the Russians respond to these attacks and also identify artillery positions. Although the Ukrainian activity around Davidiv Brit is notably lower, the importance of this direction is even higher, because a successful breakthrough in this direction will help to not only take the northern group in a pocket, but also set conditions for the attack from Ternovi Pode in the direction of Snihurivka. The lower activity can be explained by the fact that the Ukrainians have been fighting here for a long time. The Ukrainians had actually advanced deep behind the current front line not so long ago, so they have a very good understanding of Russian defense here and can afford to conduct assaults every other day. In the meantime, the Ukrainians are moving more and more troops closer to the front line. Today it was reported that several dozens of tanks had entered the Davidiv Brit area. The concentration of forces here continuously increases, and the Russians try to exploit it by conducting air strikes. Unfortunately for the Russians, the Ukrainians in this area got used to the air strikes and have a lot of surface to air missile systems operating in the region. Since preventative actions such as this one do not yield a desirable effect, the Russians seem to be preparing for a retreat. The main goal of the Russians is to inflict as high losses on the Ukrainians as possible, while simultaneously minimize the losses of their own troops. The Russians seem to be almost ready for the collapse of the northern group because geolocated footage confirmed that they have been using ferries close to Novokakhovka to evacuate their machinery. The Russians also launched a full-scale evacuation of Kherson. Some sources suggest that the Russians plan to evacuate up to 70,000 people. Some say that this is a preparation for the final battle and getting rid of civilians will allow using the entire city for achieving military objectives. Others say that the Russians are just trying to avoid the bad publicity they suffered due to leaving behind many people who cooperated with Russia in the Kharkiv region. Given that the Russians started dumping water at the Kakhovka Dam, it is doubtful that they would leave Kherson without a fight. The Russians are dumping water because they fear the Ukrainians will do the same thing the Russians did to them. As you remember, around a month ago, the Russians blew up a dam in Kravirich and flooded half of the town just to hinder the Ukrainian offensive down the stream for several days. The Russians are especially afraid of it, because after they finish evacuating the civilians, only Russian soldiers will be left inside the town. Overall, as you can see most of the things the Russians are doing right now is the preparation for the total collapse of the front line. 